Tank, tank, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got Frank here again with uh, from Ares. So what's your call sign? KA3HDO. And uh, what what is the FAM2 project? Okay, so FAM2 is a private astronaut mission. It's going to fly in a Dragon capsule, three days to potentially five days, two day extension. And it's a very pioneering mission because they're going to fly over the North and South Pole. First time humans have ever flown over the poles. So all three of these individuals are polar, ex you know, done polar expeditions in the past. So one of the crew members, Rebea Roge, she um, is a ham radio operator from Norway. She also got her license in the United States. So she has two amateur radio licenses. And uh, she's going to be doing a student competition using slow scan television. So it's a Robot 36 on 437.55 megahertz. And uh, what she's going to be, what we're going to be doing is sending 12 images of three locations over the polar regions that students have to identify. 12 images because there's each image of the polar region is in, cut up into four puzzle pieces. <laughs> so bottom line is they've got to collect the puzzle pieces, figure out what the location is, and then talk about what the significance is of that polar region. That's awesome. So uh, all done on slow scan. Uh, it will be on our SSTV gallery, which we use normally for SSTV events on Eris. Wait, what um, is going to be a little different, though, is because of this competition, the images aren't going to be shown real time. They're going to be blocked until the mission is over. Everyone can submit. Anyone can submit to the gallery like we normally do. But it's the competition ones that have some other capabilities that uh, through Discord where they actually submit their, their uh, information for the contest. Okay. And so um, F2, uh, letter F, Foxtrot, number two, dot com. You can see a little bit of what, what the mission is about. Fram 2 ham. Okay, Fram 2 ham, all together, dot com, is how you find out about the ham radio activities that are on this. Awesome, awesome. Uh, well, that, that was my ending question, was where can we find more information about this? But uh, thank you for taking the time, Frank, to come on and talk about this. Do you know the expected launch date of this right now? No earlier than March 5th. March 5th it's this coming year? Up. It's coming up. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you, so. Frank. Okay. Have a good half fest. Thank you. I'm, I'm with Ray from ICOM, and I was wanting to know how is uh, ICOM uh, participating in the Pharma 2 with the um, Amateur Radio ISS group? Basically, what we're doing is we're just getting out of their way. Um, <laughs> they're... They identified the 705 because of the VHF, UHF capability and the small footprint of using that to do the slow scan TV. Mm -hmm. So we're participating just with uh, the hardware, the development of the hardware, and it just happened to be the right product at the right time for their mission. Nice. So you're, it sounds like you're tweaking a little bit for them, or is it just the same 705 they're taking up? It's supposed to be the same 705 from what I understand from uh -huh. the folks at Eris. I mean, we're really at a arm's distance away from it. There has not been any requests for modifications or anything. Okay. So it's just pretty much a, a commercially available off-the-shelf product. Awesome, awesome. I'm glad ICOM's doing that and uh, helping out the kids and uh, participating. But I think some of the things that they might be doing is on the software side. Mm -hmm. uh, my understanding is they won't be transmitting when they're over the oceans, but when they're over populated areas, yeah. that's when they will be trans transmitting with it. He's 10 watts, mm -hmm. I believe it is. And like I said, I don't remember if it's going to be VHF or UHF. The image in the booth showed a VHF frequency, yeah. but. They're going to try to mostly, for the kids, do slow scan. Oh, that's awesome. I can't wait for that to happen. And I'm glad ICOM's uh, helping them out. Yeah, we're, we're doing whatever we can through the Eris group. Uh, awesome. Well, thank you very much for taking your time, Ray. All right, Tank, thank you. Tank, Tank, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, what do you got here now? Hey, Tank, um, they actually are marketing what frequency? Um, so it is 437.55 mm -hmm. that they're going to be doing the slow scan TV on. And, and you're not wrong. We saw the picture of it on uh, two meter, but they're going to be doing centimeter. Yeah, they're saying the goal is for 
no earlier than March 1st, so. Mm hmm there It's you around go. the corner. I can't wait. I'm going, I will be participating in this, even if it's a handheld and my phone. That's all you, you need. That's yeah. all you need, because they're doing it for space. <laughs> there you go. Awesome. Well, thank you, Ray. All right, Tank.